Hello everybody, welcome back to another short ride. This one's going to be number 28. Uh, this one, uh, we're going to take you back here to about 1981, uh, Southeastern show, uh, great show. Uh, we're going to show you uh, basically a personality profile. Uh, this, uh, an entire personality profile. This was back when uh, there was a lot of different wrestlers in the Southeastern Territory. Uh, John Valiant out of New York uh, is in this show. Uh, Bob Armstrong and Brad Armstrong are on this show. Uh, you've got uh, Ron Bass is involved in, uh, in this one. Uh, you've got uh, Mr. Saito from Japan, one of the great Japanese wrestlers of all time who went home from Southeastern and started training Japanese wrestlers uh, and, and booking for him. He, so he learned a lot being in Southeastern. You got Dennis Condry of, uh, of uh, you know, the old uh, Midnight Express fame. He was, a, he was a member of every one of those Midnight Express teams. And uh, Randy Rose, uh, his partner, and Randy were SAC team champions uh, in that time frame. Uh, and basically, uh, we're going to be discussing an upcoming eight-man tag match, Texas Death Rules, and the winning team was going to win $30,000. $7,500 each. And uh, so uh, rather than me talk any more about it, uh, let's have, let everybody have a look at it. Fire will be Luscious Johnny Valiant, Ron Ford, the Tennessee Stud, and the new Southeastern Tag Team Champions, Bob and Brad Armstrong. And gentlemen, uh, we're going to discuss uh, what basically has turned into an eight-man war. Uh, we'll be seeing a, a bit of tape footage uh, in just a few minutes, but uh, Ron, this whole thing began with uh, you, where you and Johnny Vang were signed uh, in the Texas Death Match against the Mongolian Stopper and Don Carson. Well, that's right, Les, and uh, John had received a concussion from those same two guys a week earlier, and uh, uh, officials, uh, as well as the doctor, commission doctor, would not allow John to participate. I tried to take on both men by myself and was able to hold my own for a short time, and then luckily Bob back here came to help me out and uh, at the end of this match uh, we had four guys that were not in schedule to be in the match uh, should have been nowhere around the ring end up jumping in the ring and uh, trying to do away with both myself and Bob Armstrong and uh, I think the film's pretty much self-explanatory and that's the reason as you said Les that we asked for an eight-man tag match and uh, we put up some money ourselves and that at this point Bob's already come down to help me and uh, had already made a, a strong comeback, but these guys are, were just uh, with the glove and the boot and everything else a little bit too much for, for Bob, and Bob had been bleeding previously. He'd already been hurt earlier in the night and shouldn't have been out there to begin with, really. Well, John, uh, of course, uh, the decision not to wrestle with uh, the Tennessee stud in this particular match was uh, not a decision of your liking. Well, exactly uh, right, Les Thatcher. I mean, uh, you know, when a doctor talks to me anymore, you know, it used to be years ago when somebody said something, I'll say, well, I'll show you how tough I am. I'll get there. I'll, I'll fly to wherever I have to go to wrestle, and I'll get up and I do it, and I, uh, I did it. But I'll tell you something. As the years go by and the injuries seem to increase, uh, you uh, learn from the different things. You know, just like you make a mistake in the ring, sometimes it causes you to win or lose or whatever. Sometimes you make a mistake to wrestle when you're injured. I mean, uh, hey, th these things are postponed. I mean, hey, uh, look at uh, look at Duran and that fight with uh, with Leonard. I mean, uh, sure, it might be controversial, but uh, Duran had the cramps. I mean, hey, I had a tremendous injury in, in my head, and it was a uh, concussion. The man told me, hey, Valiant, you go in the ring one more time, unless you take a little time off here you're going to terminate your career. So <laughs> what's the big choice? And speaking of terminating careers, it, that's just what Bob and I are doing at this point. We've ended up with Carson's glove and with the stomper's boot, and we're about to terminate Don Carson's uh, residence in this particular part of the country, right there. And uh, you won't see Carson Here's around the anymore, right nor the stomper anymore. And right here is where you see. Uh, Bob, uh, Dennis County, Randy Rose are bouncing in that ring, of course, earlier on this same card. Uh, you and Brad relieved them of the tag team championship belts. Exactly right, and they were screaming that we stole them, we didn't steal them, we won them. But in that match, they opened me up pretty good, lacerated me, and I lost a lot of blood, but I didn't want to watch the studs stay out there and take on two by himself. So we came out there, we did the job on the guys, and then here comes Condry making his promise. He swore that night, he said, I'll get you. It's the last thing I do, and he picked this time to really get me, and he did. 
He opened me up again profusely. They had uh, some kind of foreign object there. You can see the move they're doing to me right here. They were trying to take me out of it for a while, for sure. And they had a field day. Saito in the back there with his sleeper on me and Bass standing there just stomping me in the head. And uh, right now they are having just that a field day. Of course, we mentioned this, uh, this was a foundation for what... Uh, has uh, been termed by many as an eight-man war, but what it amounts to is $30,000 in prize money going to the winning team comprised of uh, either you four gentlemen or Rose Condry, Saito, and Bass. But even adding to that, the fact that eight wrestlers are involved, it is Texas deathmatch rules, and of course, Bob, it's basically uh, anything goes. That's exactly right. That's the way they wanted to play it when it was four on two, so why not get four on four and let the best team win? You know, I don't like to take a beating like this from anybody, anytime, anywhere. I think and we're going to settle it in a Texas death match, which I think is the best way, where falls do not count. You go till somebody's laying flat on his back and can't answer a 10 count. You can go all night if you want to. And I intend to pay back, because every time I look in the mirror, I see this scar right down my forehead, and I remember Condry, Rose, Saito, and Bass all had a hand in it. Now it's four against four. Let's see how they like it when it's even Steven instead of four on two. But I want to know something right now. I, hey, I want to I wanna, I wanna, I wanna say this to my teammates here. I want everybody to stay out of my way, man. I want everybody to stay out of my way because I want to be the lead dog. I want to be the man to start that match. I want to be the man to finish that match. I want to be the man during that match. I want to be your man, man. I want to be your man. I want to be everybody's man, but I'll tell you, I'm my man. That's the point I want to $30,000, right Ron, uh, probably the largest individual purse I, I know in 20 years of being around professional wrestling, and uh, certainly not only the four you battling for, but four equally as tough uh, professional athletes. Well, that's right. I appreciate John's uh, attitude there, and uh, I certainly uh, want to see everybody in this match, all four of us, get our opportunity to take care of some business. $30,000 is a whole lot of money, there's no doubt about it, and $5,000 of it each of our own money we have put up, and those guys have put up, Curtis added 10000 to it. Somebody less, Thatcher, is going to win $7,500 each, one of these teams, and we're looking forward to it. Texas death match, eight of us, 30 grand. An eight-man Texas death match, $30,000 going to the winning combination. It's certainly going to be an eight-man war. That has been our personality profile for today. We hope you've enjoyed it. Wow. That one takes me back, man. That's a that's a long jump back right there. Uh, uh, great crew in Southeastern. Uh, we were doing some really big business down along the Gulf Coast. Uh, we had already left Knoxville, had it sold out. Uh, and we were all down there. Uh, Bob Armstrong, my brother, uh, Jimmy, uh, Roy Lee Welch, partners in that company. And, uh, and uh, Brad Armstrong getting off to a great start. Wow. Uh, NWA Rookie of the Year, I think that year. Uh, a whole lot going on in that video. Uh, uh, John Valiant, uh, my last uh, Ask the Stud. And we got into a question that somebody had, had mentioned John Valiant, and oddly enough, he's in this one too. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, really, really a great era of wrestling back in those days. Uh, and. Uh, we're really, really proud of what we're doing on ClassicContinentalWrestling.com. Uh, we've got uh, these shows all the way starting from uh, 1979 with Hulk Hogan's first television match. Uh, and his match, uh, his, his uh, arm wrestling contest with Andre the Giant, uh, right on up into 83, all the way through 83. And we're, we're working on adding 84 to it as we speak. Uh, so, uh, and thank you all so much. Uh, I mean, uh, this again is just another short ride. This was just a personality profile out of a show. And uh, if you want to see the whole show, I mean, uh, obviously, you can go to ClassicContinentalWrestling.com, uh, subscribe there. It's only $4.99 a month, which is 50 cents, <laughs> 50 cents a day or, or something like that. I mean, it's a, it's a very, very minimal amount. Or you can buy the entire year for $39.99 and get it even for even less per episode. Uh, we've got, uh, well, way over 200, way, way over 200 hours uh, for fans there now. And, uh, and we keep adding to it. And uh, 
I thank everybody for joining me today. I uh, hope you hope you like this one, and I hope you. Uh, I know you're all enjoying these short rides because I see the numbers, and the viewers are just. Uh, it's really really amazing, and uh, we love uh, giving them, giving them, uh, put them up here for you, and uh, and uh, and I know by the number of people that watch them that you love viewing them, and uh, we're going to bring you another one.